Hello and welcome to Wrestling Troll Polar, the channel where we analyze professional wrestling. If this is your first time here, help the channel by clicking the subscribe button. Today we are going back to 2005 and we are going to talk about the rivalry between the late great Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio. This video will focus on Eddie Guerrero turning on Rey Mysterio over Eddie's inability to win a match against Rey Mysterio. And the second video will focus on the infamous Custody of Dominic storyline ahead of the SummerSlam pay-per-view. Links are in the description. Eddie and Ray's careers mirror each other. Both wrestlers come from wrestling families and both wrestlers went through ECW and WCW where they were mainly mid-card underrated wrestlers. And eventually their paths would lead them to the WWE, with Eddie joining in 2000 and Rey Mysterio two years later in 2002. In the WWE, Rey Mysterio would have lengthy tag team title reigns with Edge and Rob Van Dam and several cruiserweight title reigns. And Eddie would build himself into a legitimate main eventer. And by 2004, Eddie would become the world champion. And sadly, only a year and a half later, Eddie Guerrero would pass away at the young age of 38 years old. We pick up the story of the Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio rivalry at WrestleMania 21. Rey and Eddie are holding the tag team titles ever since the previous pay-per-view No Way Out, and they are in a singles match against each other while holding the tag team title. And during the weeks before WrestleMania, Chavo Guerrero would keep planting seeds of hate between Eddie and Rey. Who is better, Rey Mysterio or Eddie Guerrero? And eventually Eddie starts to doubt himself because earlier in January Eddie had lost a match against Ray. All this started to weigh heavy on Eddie Guerrero, and Eddie then convinced Ray to have a match with Eddie at WrestleMania. WrestleMania 21, Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio are gonna tear the house down. And during this match, things would start to change, because Rey Mysterio takes the fight to Eddie Guerrero and the realization that Rey Mysterio might be better than Eddie Guerrero starts to break down Eddie. In the ending moments of the match, Eddie gives a backbreaker to Rey, followed by the three amigos. Rey dodges the frog splash and then Eddie counters Rey's seated senton into a power bomb. But Rey manages to eke out a victory with the Hurricane Rana into a roll up and pinfall for the win. The moments after the ending of the match start to tell the great story unfolding before our very eyes. A great show of sportsmanship! After WrestleMania, a new number one contender for John Cena's title must be found. JBL had lost the title to Cena, and one of the stipulations of the match was that JBL would waive the traditional wrestling pro pre-match clause. SmackDown opens with a ring segment featuring all the upper tier roster of SmackDown, and Rey Mysterio would show up to throw his name in the hat. And Eddie perceives this as a betrayal, but doesn't take any action about it at this time. As a result of this segment, the first number one contender match would be announced. Rey Mysterio would be wrestling JBL in tonight's SmackDown broadcast. And an hour later, in a backstage segment, Eddie is promising to Ray that Eddie will make sure that Ray wins against JBL. But Eddie drops hints of doubting Ray's ability to overcome JBL. I really don't think you can beat him alone. Ray assures Eddie that Ray will persevere, and Ray reminds Eddie of Ray Mysterio's win over Eddie Guerrero at WrestleMania days before. In WrestleMania, Canal. I beat you! Five minutes later, the match takes place and this particular SmackDown taping is being held in San Diego, which is Rey Mysterio's hometown. WWE Wrestling Trope Alert! If you are in your hometown, you will most definitely lose your match. WWF Raw Live from Rockers, Oklahoma City! Well, let me tell you something, JR. You're gonna kiss his ass! Get over here and kiss his ass! Oh my gosh! 
and after Ray's valiant effort against JBL and the constant interference of JBL's lackey Orlando Jordan, Eddie would cause Rey Mysterio to be disqualified. Eddie had appeared moments earlier to even the odds and take out Orlando Jordan. But then JBL kicks Eddie, Ray drop kicks JBL, 619, drop of the dime, and as Ray is covering JBL, Eddie loses his temper and breaks the pinfall attempt. Winner of this match, JBL. On the next SmackDown broadcast, Carlito Caribbean Cool is given a talk show, and Carlito does what heels do. Carlito mimics Eddie's nephew Chavo and also stuck it between Eddie and Ray. Eddie Guerrero screwing up your first ever title shot. In this segment, the tag team Eminem would make their televised debut, and the SmackDown tag team mainstays would challenge Ray and Eddie, but Eddie is absent. What? Oh no! And taking advantage of Eddie's absence, Eminem would attack Rey Mysterio. And 15 minutes later, in a backstage segment, Rey would be in the backstage area recovering from the beating, and Eddie would show up with the excuse of having car troubles. I had trouble with my ride, huh? Eddie then tells Ray that Eddie will dedicate his number one contenders match later tonight with Kurt Angle to Ray. And in that main event match, after Angle puts Eddie in the ankle lock, Eddie counters into a sunset flip, and from the floor, Eddie pushes Angle's trucks hard, exposing Angle's behind. Then small package and kick out a two, ankle lock once again, and Eddie struggles but manages to counter. And Eddie sends Angle flying towards the referee, Jimmy Cordero. Angle then uses this referee distraction to procure a steel chair. Rey Mysterio shows up to deliver a seated scent on an angle, and Rey Mysterio, now with a chair in his hand, goes to check up on Eddie Guerrero. Eddie turns around, sees Mysterio with a chair, and freaks the fuck out. Angle takes this opportunity to push Ray towards Eddie. Angle pins Eddie Guerrero and advances in the number one contenders tournament as Eddie and Ray continue their series of unfortunate events. The following SmackDown broadcast, it's now Eddie's turn to visit Carlitos Cabana. Carlito does his best to stir the sh between Ray and Eddie. Whoa, 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 Carlitos not trying to stir up trouble. Trying to stir it up between me and Ray. Eddie calls Ray to attempt to explain himself, and both men would make amends and hug it out. And backstage, Eminem are ruining the beautiful paint job on Eddie's lowrider. Side note of all the lowriders that Eddie drove in his entrance, this was one of the least deserving of this treatment. Eminem doing this to such a beautiful piece of art made me hate Eminem, so good on the WWE for building this heat for the young team. Eddie and Ray gives chase, but can't arrive in time to catch Eminem at the scene of the crime. Eminem, you guys are gonna pay tonight! Then 30 minutes later, Eminem is having a match with Eddie and Ray for the tag team titles. And after a distraction by Molina, Eddie attempts to remove Molina from the ring area. And as the referee is distracted, Eminem uses a double team move on Mysterio, and Eddie and Ray lose the tag team championships. After the match, Eddie and Ray would be demanding explanations from each other, and Eddie eventually pushes Ray and leaves the ring. Ray doesn't take this one lying down and goes after Eddie, and Ray pushes Eddie and walks away. The seeds of hate have been planted, and now the clock is counting down to the eventual demise of Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero. And in a backstage segment, Eddie is all pumped up trying to hype Rey, but Rey is feeling the sadness. Then Rey has a heart to heart with Rey Mysterio, and Eddie attempts to make amends with Rey once again. Then Chavito, the soaring eagle himself, interrupts this sweet bonding moment. Eddie then accuses Chavo of also trying to stir the pit up between Rey and Eddie. Eddie then says that Mysterio's family We're like familia, homes, or a live at the local. And Eddie accuses Chavo of not being there for Eddie. Eddie then promises his allegiance to Ray. Once more, Ray forgives Eddie, and Eddie and Ray make amends, but for how long? 
This SmackDown broadcast, Eddie and Ray are going to have a wrestling rematch against Eminem. SmackDown emanates from the United Kingdom, and in true WWE fashion, British tropes are mandatory. So WWE calls the Double Decker Bus Company, and in another unrelated match, JBL would come out in a Rolls Royce. And in their match with Eminem, Eddie and Ray would make their entrance in a convertible Jaguar XKR. Eddie and Ray would have a competitive match with Eminem, and it seems that whatever was going on between Eddie and Ray has been resolved and both men work as a cohesive team throughout the match. Then by mistake, Ray crashes into Eddie, leading to Eddie falling outside of the ring. Ray carries on fighting Eminem, and Ray almost wins the match single-handedly. Then Ray props Mercury on the second row, preparing for the 619, and Ray notices that Eddie is halfway down the ramp. This gives Eminem enough time to recover. Nitro delivers a powerbomb on Ray, crooked referee Nick Patrick counts, Ray kicks out, and then Eddie starts to come to his senses and makes his way back to the ring in a great moment of storytelling. Later in the match, Ray continues to persevere against Eminem, and Eddie is in the corner looking somber for quite some time. Then Ray does his parented tilt a whirl at scissors and starts to crawl towards Eddie for the tag. Ray reaches for Eddie as hard as he can, and Eddie is just motionless staring at Ray Mysterio. Eddie's eyes piercing Mysterio's soul with the content of betrayal. A wary Mercury drops an elbow on Ray, Eminem does their finishing move, pinfall for the win, and Eminem retains their championship. After the match and still in the corner, Eddie admires as Ray gets further destroyed by Eminem. Eddie stares at Mysterio suffering in agony on the floor, and Eddie turns his back on Mysterio. This is such good on the next SmackDown broadcast, Rey Mysterio comes out to address Eddie Guerrero's actions, and Rey calls Eddie a liar and a coward. Then Rey dares Eddie to come out and face Rey Mysterio. Eddie comes out in silence with no entrance music, walking slowly to the ring area staring daggers at Rey Mysterio. Eddie gets in the ring, and both men hold their distance in the ring. Ray closes the distance gap, which makes Eddie uncomfortable. And Eddie tells Ray that Eddie has nothing to say. I have nothing to say to you, Holmes. Rey Mysterio is feeling the betrayal of his beloved friend as he asks Eddie what the happened to family. What happened to you are my familia? Eventually, Ray gets tired of Eddie's silent treatment, and Ray takes action by pushing Eddie. Eddie then walks slowly towards Ray. I've never laid a hand on you the way you just did to me. Ray then tells Eddie that he didn't need to, because Eminem did the dirty work for Eddie, and then Ray slaps Eddie in the face. Side note, this is where the lines get blurred. From a heel babyface standpoint, this is going too far for Ray, who is the babyface in this situation. Pushing Eddie works because Ray is showing that he's not a pushover. Slapping another man and starting the fight may be perceived by the audience as a heelish move, because Eddie just takes it and doesn't fight back. This is problematic within the WWE storytelling, as the WWE struggles to book babyfaces constantly. Suck up, sell out, full of suffering, suck a tash, son! The big dog! Real mature. Rey Mysterio is now in a fighting stance, and Eddie says that he will not fight Rey, and Eddie turns his back on Rey as if to paint a target for Rey to strike. Eddie decides to leave as Rey continues to instigate. Eddie would stop mid-ramp, teasing a return to the ring, but would eventually leave. 15 minutes later, Rey Mysterio is in Teddy Long's office, the greatest general manager ever, and Rey wants to settle the score with Eddie, and Rey wants a match. Chavo Guerrero shows up to ask what the fuck is going on, and proceeds to defend his uncle Eddie, and a brawl in Sul. Teddy Long would make a match with the street fight stipulation between Rey and Chavo for the main event of this SmackDown broadcast. Side note, this is also a wrestling trope alert moment. Every time a wrestler has storyline associates, those associates always have to wrestle against whoever their storyline friend is feuding with. 
Ahead of the street fight, Chavo Guerrero would have two backstage segments. Chavo enrolls the help of Eminem for later tonight, and the second one where Chavo speaks to his uncle Eddie, promising to punish Rey Mysterio in the street fight. And five minutes later, Chavo makes his entrance and Ray shows up with a steel pipe. And he brings the steel pipe because earlier in the broadcast, Ray went after Eminem with this steel pipe. Again, the WWE fails at booking a babyface wrestler like Rey Mysterio. The people want Rey to win matches with his skills and wits. Rey going after Eminem with a steel pipe and Rey carrying a pipe to wrestle Chavo Guerrero only tells the audience that he's not good enough to beat Chavo fair and square. Granted, the match with Chavo will be a street fight and furniture is probably getting used, but the bad guy appearing empty-handed and the babyface bringing away Happen is just f logic. Ray would soon get rid of the pipe, and both men would have a competitive fight for quite some time. Then later in the match, after Ray goes balls first into the corner turnbuckle, Chavo props up a chair and drives Ray Mysterio's head straight into the chair. Then a gutty bomb on Ray Mysterio, followed by a near fall, and Eminem would show up to help Chavo by holding a leather, which Ray Mysterio kicks and takes down Eminem. Chavo would set up the chair once again in the middle of the ring. Ray counters and Chavo goes face first into the chair. And as Chavo is seated on the chair, Ray with a seated senton on Chavo who is sitting. Seated exception. Pinfall for the win and after the match, Eminem and Chavo go to work on Rey Mysterio. Eddie would swerve the audience and show up to take out Eminem and stare down Ray. Eddie embraces Ray and moments later, Eddie turns on Ray and Eddie gives a vicious beating to his former friend all the way outside. Ray eats the ring post and back in the ring, Ray Mysterio's destroyed mask is filled with the crimson mist. And Eddie continues his onslaught of violence with the steel steps and Smackdown ends with Ray Mysterio's body lying motionless on the cold arena floor. This is such good sh Rey Mysterio would miss the next two SmackDown broadcast to further sell the injury sustained at the hands of Eddie Guerrero. On this episode of SmackDown, Eddie Guerrero enters the arena in street clothes, playing his role to perfection with his heel somber look. Eddie goes for a chair at ringside and grabs a microphone. Eddie cuts a promo explaining his actions while being showered by booze from the paying audience. I gave him what he wanted. Eddie reaches for Ray's broken mask as he proclaims that all this mayhem, pain and suffering is all Ray Mysterio's fault. It's your fault! Ray, why'd you make me do it? Por qué? Do you think that makes me happy? Es tu culpa, Ray! Eddie then turns his attention to the fans and Eddie accuses the fans of stealing Eddie's passion and Eddie's Latino heat. And after that, Eddie warns Rey Mysterio of the impending consequences of Eddie's wrath. Think of your family! Don't make me hurt their daddy again! And 45 minutes later, Eddie would be in a match with independent wrestler Jimmy Jacobs, of Ring of Honor and Impact Wrestling fame, and also former PWG Tag Team Champion with Seth Rollins. Eddie would place Ray's mask on the ring post and proceed to dismantle poor young Jimmy Jacobs, and then Eddie would take Ray's mask and put it on Jimmy's face, and give the beating of a lifetime to poor Jimmy, and eventually Eddie would be disqualified for giving a brain buster on the share to poor Jimmy. On the last SmackDown before Judgment Day, Eddie would prove that not saying anything sometimes says a lot. Eddie stands in the ring for quite some time in a display of tremendous acting and this segment would end with Eddie crushing Mysterio's mask under his cowboy boots and Eddie walking off without saying a word.
Eddie comes out of the gorilla position with his somber look staring down the fence as he enters the ring. Rey Mysterio comes out next with kayfabe bandages typical of baby faces selling injuries, firmly painting a target square that the very body part that he wants to protect. Ray takes a prayer in the corner, his back turned to Eddie, begging Eddie to strike him from behind. Ray turns and surprises Eddie. Eddie takes the first shot and the violence ensues onto the corner and Eddie has the upper hand. Knife head chops, punches and an Irish whip into the ropes. Ray takes out Eddie with a shoulder tackle, Ray punishes Eddie and the referee stops the offense and Eddie leaves the ring to recover from the beating. Ray gives chase to Eddie, Eddie capitalizes and drives Ray into the steel steps. Calling back two weeks back when Mysterio was driven back first into the steel steps. Eddie continues his onslaught on Ray. Ray hits the ring post, Ray gets a spine buster on the announce desk twice, and the referee Brian Ebner warns Eddie of the impending timeout. And back in the ring, Eddie kicks Ray once again as Brian Ebner warns Eddie again. Ray struggles to stay in this match but somehow manages to kick out a two. Back suplex by Eddie hard on the canvas, another near fall and Ray gets stretched by Eddie. Ray manages to arm drag Eddie and now Ray attempts to gain momentum but Eddie catches Ray and delivers an inverted power bomb. Another near fall but still Ray kicks out in a remarkable display of fighting spirit. Eddie removes the bandages from Mysterio's gut and throws them at the referee. Ray attempts a comeback with some stiff elbows but is not enough as Eddie continues to dominate Ray Mysterio. Later in the match, Ray is in a submission hold and Ray struggles through his pain and manages to reach for the ropes. The referee stops the count and Eddie sends Mysterio flying all the way outside. Eddie drags Ray and Ray manages to counter. Ray sends Eddie's back straight into the ring post and as Eddie sells the ring post, 619 off the ring post and back in the ring, the action goes. Both men exhausted trade blows, Eddie channels his Latino hit persona and Ray channels his remaining powers and takes the fight to Eddie Guerrero. Springboard crossbody, near fall, spinning kick, seated sent on, another near fall. Mysterio punches Eddie in the corner, Irish whip, Mysterio goes flying towards Eddie, Eddie dodges and Mysterio goes shoulder first into the ring post. Eddie lifts Mysterio to the top of the ropes, superplex from the top rope, pinfall attempt as Mysterio continues to kick out. Eddie Guerrero then goes for his signature offense, the three amigos. Ray counters the third amigo and sends Eddie flying towards the second rope, teasing the 619. And because this rivalry is supposed to go on for a long time, Chavo Guerrero shows up to interfere, and Chavo is here to distract the referee. Eddie procures a steel share but fails to capitalize because Ray drop kicks Eddie's knee, drop toe hold on Eddie, baseball slide on Chavo, 619 on Eddie, Mysterio attempts to drop the dime and Eddie with the share drops Mysterio from the skies down to the floor. Match ends by disqualification and after the match Eddie delivers more steel chair strikes on Ray Mysterio, solidifying his new heel persona. Eddie leaves the ring area showered in disdain by the people and back in the ring. Ray is hurting. After the match at Judgment Day, the rivalry between Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio would continue but would cool down significantly. In a backstage segment, Ray vows to make Eddie pay for his dastardly ways, and both men would be in the winner's choice battle royale, a match where the winner has the choice to challenge any other wrestler for any match that he so desires. In the winner's choice battle royale, Eddie Guerrero would deliver some devastating share strikes as Ray is making his entrance. The battle royale match carries on, the hurt thins and Eddie eliminates Scotty Tuhari, the master of <laughs> war. Then with the help of Angle, out goes Hardcore Holly. Later in the match, Rey Mysterio would appear to cause damage to Eddie and Rey would manage to eliminate Eddie from the battle royale and deliver a seated senton to the outside, eliminating Eddie Guerrero from the match. Rey Mysterio along with Angle would be the last two men standing and after a hard fought battle, Mysterio would be sent outside with an Olympic slam.
On the June 2nd episode of SmackDown, only a recap would air concerning the rivalry between Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio. On the following SmackDown, the WWE is gearing towards the ECW pay-per-view three days later on the June 12th. Benoit and Guerrero are in a backstage segment talking about their upcoming match at the ECW One Night Stand pay-per-view, a match that Eddie Guerrero would lose by submission to Benoit. Then 30 minutes later, Eddie Guerrero would interfere in a match between the Cruiserweight Champion Paul London, the guy who smiled as Vince McMahon walked to his storyline doom later in 2007, and Akio, the future Asian redneck Jimmy Wang Yang. Eddie grabs a microphone from announcer Tony Chimo and Charles Robinson I'm talking about little nature boy Charles Robinson, you got it? Attempts to stop Eddie from interrupting the match, but to no avail. Then Akio gets launched at Eddie, Eddie takes out Akio, London confronts Eddie, and Eddie takes out London. London comes back, gets sent to the outside again, and still, London is not happy, and here comes London again, and for the third time, all the way outside goes Paul London. Eddie tells the people that he's being disrespected by his fellow wrestlers, because no one thinks that he can beat Rey Mysterio. Because all of you don't think that I can beat Rey Mysterio. Then Eddie cuts a promo talking about the pain and suffering that Eddie has caused Rey. Eddie also mentions a promise that he made to Rey. I never make a promise I can't keep. On the other side of this rivalry, Rey Mysterio would be absent from this week's SmackDown, but he would be in action against Psychosis at the ECW One Night Stand pay-per-view, in a match where I kept expecting Eddie to show up and interfere, but he wouldn't. Rey Mysterio would win the match with Psychosis with a seated senton, 619, drop of the dime and pinfall for the win. Ray would also be in action in the main event ECW vs WWE Brawl, starring Steve Austin. Rey Mysterio would deliver a 619 to his former WCW boss Eric Bischoff and drink some beer with the boys while wearing JBL's cowboy hat. Side note, Eric Bischoff is the man who convinced Rey Mysterio to remove his mask under threat of dismissal years prior in WCW, so this segment is kind of a revenge on Eric by Rey. Hooray for continuity! On the next SmackDown, Eddie comes out with his usual heel somber look and Eddie is wrestling the Cruiserweight Champion Paul London. In this match, London would actually have some offense in the beginning stages of the match, but after a powerbomb in the corner, Eddie would dominate London, then Eddie would tease the frog splash to piss the people off, and Eddie Guerrero would win this match against London with the Texas Cloverleaf. After the match, Ray would appear to punish Eddie with a steel share. Then a brawl would break out, and both men would fight all the way up the ramp, with the WWE officials attempting to stop them from fighting, but failing to do so. Because after SmackDown returns from commercial break in the parking lot area, Ray and Eddie would be destroying each other inside a production trailer. Then Ray would attempt to seal himself inside with Eddie, and Eddie would get away just in the nick of time and Ray would be left inside with a couple of officials. This causes Teddy Long to make the match for the following week, Eddie Guerrero vs Rey Mysterio to finally put his rivalry to rest. Spoiler alert, it wouldn't. On the following SmackDown, Ray talks backstage about the events of the last week and the feelings of rage he has towards Eddie. Ray says that Eddie broke Ray and Ray says that he's not going in the match later tonight for redemption. And moments later, Eddie would be interviewed and Eddie promises a world of hurt on Ray and a swift defeat. Later in the broadcast, Eddie would make his entrance face enshrined in his heel somber look. And Ray, who wears a mask, also conveys the same eerie expression on his face with both men portraying their role down to a T. And after the initial pacing back and forth between Eddie and Ray, both men would be matching each other step by step, with Eddie shocked that Ray is keeping up with Eddie. Continuing the thread of the story so far and the source of Eddie's frustrations, the realization that Eddie Guerrero can't beat Ray Mysterio. 
this methodical match, typical of this era SmackDown, was a match to further the story and take up time on SmackDown. And in the closing moments of the match, Ray would reverse a powerbomb attempt by Eddie, 619, Ray drops the dime, pinfall for the win, and Ray Mysterio pins Eddie Guerrero clean in the middle of the ring. Once again, Eddie Guerrero couldn't beat his former friend, and that would be the catalyst for the next step in this story, the custody of Dominic storyline. But that's a story for the next chapter, so remember to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss it when it comes out. Thank you for watching this trip down memory lane regarding the epic rivalry between Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio in 2005. Leave your comments, suggestions, ideas or constructive criticism in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to press that like button and also subscribe for more future content just like this. Or better, this has been fun. Thank you for watching.